Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. We are playing on Proud Mode, of course. In the last episode, we went over here to Beast Castle and we defeated Zaldin. Another member of the Organization 13 is gone, which means there's what, four left? Three or four left? In this episode, we are going to proceed to the Land of Dragons, our next destination. However, before we do that, we have something to do here in Hollow Bastion at the Postern. We will notice right off the bat that the Gull Wings are here. Let's talk to them. Hey, Riku, stop that singing and listen to... Huh? You. Riches, riches, I'm so happy. Uh, you. What? Why are they... Why are they mad at me? Liars. What? Leon doesn't have any treasure. And we fought for you guys. Donald. Well, I had to kill him something. I don't see how we're going to work this out. So what should we do? Why do you think they want to trick us like that? We work so hard to help them out. It's not fair. They'll just stick responsibility for what they did. They like that. Yeah. This will be great. Good call. Okay. It's go time. We're just going to take your treasure. But we don't have anything. You sure? Hmm. Let's take a look. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Hey, Uni, I took a look. And sure enough. Okay, we've decided. The Gullwings are taking all your items. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Foofy. This stinks. So not cool. Look, sorry we tricked you, but... Forget about it. Leon told us the whole story. He said your journey has been pretty rough. So it wouldn't really be right if we took your things. We'll root for you. Here, this is from us. Bye. Good luck on your journey. And that is the last we see of the Goal Wings. Pretty much, actually. Uh, so they actually leave a pretty fundamental thing that we are going to need, and something that we're going to use in future, uh, let's just say, not exploits, strategies, I guess is a good word. It is a Keyblade. It is the Goal Wing. Increases the amount of experience gained by 100% when defeating an enemy at a critical moment, which means low health. Stack that on top of the double XP that we already get. We are going to get a ton of XP whenever we use that. Seriously. For now, though, we are going to head to the Land of Dragons and uh, and see what's going on there. I wonder how everybody's doing. Look! Wait! Sora! Mulan, hey, no time to talk. We gotta catch that guy. I'm following him too. Then let's go! It looks like the organization is here in Land of Dragons, and we are going to get our good friend Mulan here to help us. Now, Sora did learn a new ability, uh, but we won't be boring about it. Um, this is actually combo plus, so I will equip it. Uh, we actually got that from the one and only Valor form, which we recently actually just got to level 4 off stream. Um, I actually did that in between just by battling an enemy. I didn't realize that I was that close. I just used Valor form because I knew I was using uh, one, of the, one of the portals. So we're going to go up here towards the ridge. Because we are after that guy. Now, you could also, if you so chose, uh, you could use Master Form here, which we're actually going to do. The reason for that is because that will allow us to actually go ahead and get these Dry Forms from here. Now, you actually level your Master Form from using 
uh, or you level master form from getting drive orbs, which we were able to just get. And then, of course, we can go ahead and actually go in and kill these guys who now showed up. And we want to make sure that no matter what, we actually leave this area before this drive gauge actually goes away. Uh, these guys will not give us any drive orbs, so we can actually skip them and head towards the summit. Looks like he got away. How come you're after somebody from Organization 13? What is that? The guy in black. One of the bad guys! I knew it. There's a rumor in the Imperial City about a spy in black lurking in the mountains. I'd been up here tracking him, but when you arrived, I lost him. Ah. Oh. Sorry. Don't apologize, but I do wonder where he went. Again? Okay, first things first. Wait, that sword looks awfully familiar. Defeat the mysterious man. Now, we are just going to jump right in on him. Do not worry. I'm telling you guys, do not worry about this fight whatsoever. Just heal every so often and you'll be fine. We'll also go ahead and use our arrow blade reaction command just because it is available and uh, something capable of using. Now, you could also potentially, if you so choose, this guy is not going to kill you for whatever reason. I wonder why. I wonder why this guy does not want to kill Sora. It's very interesting indeed. Uh, and you can kind of kill the rapid thrusters for the HP balls that they drop if you so choose. If you don't want to, you know, um, go ahead and do that. But just by beating up this guy, eventually he's going to go away. You're not actually going to take him down. This is super easy. Guy, no. Why would he? Riku? Are you a okay, Sora? Did you get him? Hmm. No. He's gone. What? You lost him? Anyway, what now? Well, I think that we better get rid of all the Heartless first. What was that? Come on, we better get off the mountain. Okay. And Mulan and Goofy are back in our party. We're going to proceed with those guys. It's heading for the city. We've got to warn Shang.
The Emperor is in danger! Sort of. So you could save your game here if you so choose, or you can continue forward. Or you could go ahead and talk to the synthesizing shop and drop off all the stuff that you got. Perfect. Uh, we also got a new recipe, uh, just saying. So that was a recipe for the moon am amulet, uh, which was, I believe, the, um, the moon recipe that we got back in Hollow Bastion. So that's something that is available for you. But we are going to proceed uh, all the way down to the Imperial Square, which is where we need to go. Now, there is actually a little trick that we are going to do here on the mountain trail. Right off the bat, we are going to get ready to use our drive form. We are going to use master form, which will allow us to, one, just annihilate these guys, but hopefully also allow us to get all of the drive forms that they actually drop, which is how you are able to, uh, to actually level uh, master form, which is why you need to do that. Yeah. So right over here, we can go ahead and grab the frontier puzzle piece that we were not able to grab all those days ago uh, that we were here in this area. And look at that! I was right. We were able to level our master form to level two, which is exactly what we need. Those drive forms are super, super good. Now, the reason I use it here is because one, it allows us to get some quick damage in on these guys because, of course, they do some damage uh, and hopefully be able to uh, just maybe kill him if I... Yes! Perfect, and we are able to do some damage with against him as well with our final little attack that we were able to get. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the drive gauges from him, but it still worked, and then we can proceed down here to the checkpoints. This is another area that you could easily take advantage of what I just showed you, that little trick. That works very well right here as well, uh, because these little, these crates that you can see here drop a ton of drive orbs. Actually, a way that you can do this is to head past there into the encampment, which is right over here, into the bamboo grove, keep your drive gauge, go there, do that, and actually be able uh, to have that drive gauge again over and over and over keep coming in here destroy these leave go to the go to the world map come back do all that it is super super easy but i'm not going to do that right now there's actually a different trick that we're going to use to level later uh but i wanted that level two huh everything's fine well now look who decided to show up what is that a problem nah we're just glad you're not in black cloaks. You saw him? Yeah, he's in the palace. Mulan, you might need me to go with you. Looks like we're gonna have some friends to fight right off the bat, some heartless. Unfortunately, we just used our drive gauge, but that's actually okay. Uh, this is another point where it's not totally a horrible idea to use your drive gauge. I just think it's useful to pop it where we did. Uh, because we also get access to that frontier puzzle piece that you actually wouldn't be able to get um, without using master form there anyways so it's just kind of it's just kind of like okay well at least we got it in both of them and besides these bolt towers have bolt reversal which just does so much damage anyways I just don't really feel like you need you need the extra damage from uh, any drive gauge at this point. Also, not to mention, we're about to have a boss fight. Why don't we just save our drive gauge for the next boss? Right? Especially since these guys do drop so much, and we can just add that to our... Uh, ooh, that hurt. Uh, we can just add that to it, and just get right on top of these guys and not have a problem whatsoever. Luckily, we do have that aerial thing, so that kind of helps us a little bit, and then we can pop them in the air and just finish them off. To the palace! Let's go! Maybe don't say to the palace, maybe just run towards the palace, and I would have, you know, ran with you. So we are here at the palace gates, no enemies outside the gates, which is handy for us, and we need to continue on into the land of Dragon's Palace.
That does not look like the guy we just fought. Let's see who this is. Wait! Riku? Uh? Ooh. No, never heard of him. Who is that guy? He is going to spawn in these nobodies, because clearly he's part of the organization. These are, ca are called snipers, and they have the same powers as that guy. They're snipers, and they will teleport all over the room. Luckily for us, they also give us the reaction command, Warp Snipe, which will allow us to kill these guys super fast. They also have very, 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 very little health, so we can go ahead and beat these guys, stay on top of them with that with that warp snipe that you got. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That is unfortunate for us, uh, but that's okay. This will allow us to just go ahead and uh, kind of annihilate all these anyways. I did not mean to use her limit command, but again, that's the problem with auto limit is uh, you'll be trying to use a reaction command and you'll accidentally end up using something else instead. Uh, it's really unfortunate that that happens, but it is what it is, you know? Uh, warp snipe! There we go, we were able to... Oh, oh, look at all the, oh, oh, yeah, Sora, oh, 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 he's so good. Oh, and strength increase, oh my god, warp snipe yet again, oh my god, oh yeah, and oh, so easy. Guess it wasn't Riku. Hmm, sorry, Sora. But that sword sure looked like it, just saying. Your Excellency, Shang, something terrible has happened. We saw a huge monster fly out of the mountains and toward the city. Oh, so it is as the young man said. Isn't that right, Captain? I yes, Your Excellency. You see a young stranger visit us not long ago. The Captain fought the visitor, but was quickly defeated. I just want to comb his beard. I just want to comb his beard. It seems that young man was the one in black that I have heard whispers about. Did he mention the name Riku? He didn't offer his name, he was rather rude. Rude? Then it was Riku! I love the assumption that Riku's in the organization? Gosh. But why would he come here? It's a great question. Uh-oh. Earthquake. I'll check outside. Alright, let's go. But first, before we check outside... W Mulan! Yes, Shang? Shang, guard the Emperor. I'll be fine with them. Yeah, only with us, because you can't handle yourself. Just kidding, you totally can't. That is true. We need not worry while you protect us. Which reminds me, Mulan's on Netflix as of recording this. So if anybody wants to watch Mulan and has Netflix, go watch it. Right up here, we can go... Oh, we can go up and grab a, a little present for ourselves, which is a palace map. Uh, it's a map of the palace. I know, can you believe that? Right here, we can get an Orichalcum. And then a mithril crystal, and then right over here is a page. A torn page, which is for uh, 100 acre wood, oops. And then right over here is another chest that we can grab, which contains a queen recipe. Yet again, another recipe that we can grab. Uh, and right over here is a another chest. Now, we could, of course, grab a drive gauge. Uh, let's actually do this real quick. Uh, Goofy just got a new thing. Let's go ahead and give him the, uh, the shield. Perfect. And now, we could go ahead and grab that by using a drive form, which isn't a terrible idea. Let's go ahead and actually see if we can grab this. Uh, unfortunately, I might have used the wrong drive form there, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, probably should have used Valor form. Oh, well, that's okay. Well, okay, so I wasted my time trying to get that without the drive form that I actually have. Uh, don't worry about it. I actually did this in post because, you know what, I forgot about two chests right down these stairs there's actually a chest right here yeah it was kind of hard to see but right there we can find an ap boost and right over on the other side right over here and the exact same spot but on the other side we can have another chest which contains another ap boost absolutely worth getting that is all of the items that we can actually get here in uh in land of dragons so if you actually look at your journal you now see that we have a Mickey Mouse emblem right next to treasures to say that we got them all here at the Land of Dragons. So that's Beast, Castle, and Lag of Land of Dragons completely, completely done when it comes to treasures. We have the pieces that are still here. Uh, obviously, we have these ones and the ones that are over in the encampment. 
don't worry, we will be doing a future episode which is all of the puzzle pieces cleanup. But as soon as you're ready, we are going to head right outside to deal with this Storm Rider. So let's head out here and before the drive cage wears off, because that was a total waste of time, the palace gate. This giant beast is the Storm Rider, and we need to take him out. Unfortunately, we're still in drive form, so my plan actually didn't really work that well. Uh, but that's okay. Right off the bat, we actually... Oh, no. Oh, no. I made a mistake. I made a... Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, everybody. Mistakes were made. Uh, so we actually want to use these uh, tornado... We wanted to, right off the bat, hang on to him. It was a reaction command to hang on. And unfortunately, I didn't do that. We want to use this to uh, soar into the air, land back on him, and then actually we can take these uh, little shoulder... Uh, spikes that he has out if we take those out He'll actually fall to the ground and get stunned uh, which is perfect for us because then we can actually just kind of lay into him uh, Here and hit that as much as possible. Uh, unfortunately, it does suck that I wasted kind of that drive gauge um, You could use it in this fight. It doesn't totally matter. This fight is pretty simple It's just kind of long so we'll try to stay on top of him as much as we can uh, he's going to jump over there, and he's going to get ready to do a carpet bomb. Now, we can use this to soar on top, which is perfect, uh, which will actually allow us to avoid all of those explosions, and then jump on top yet again, and attack the horns that actually need to be attacked. That's actually how you do damage. The other ones on the side are just enough to stun him. I don't really care about those. I tend not to use, uh, tend not to do those. I typically just focus on his, uh, his actual horns here. We can just do so much damage to them. That thunder is attacking us, so make sure you watch your health. Uh, heal if you need it, and then we'll hang on because he's about to do his big loop-de-loop Loop-de-loop -loop and pull and your shoe. Oh, damn it. And your shoes are looking cool uh, And then we're just gonna jump right back on and continue our onslaught. He's almost in his final health bar uh, Which is pretty good for us and unfortunately we didn't hang on there, but that's okay now He's going to get ready to do another carpet bomb. So we just want to watch out for that. Uh, no, he didn't vertigo toss There we go. We got a reaction command which does a ton of damage to him That will also stun him anytime you are allowed to do that go ahead And that is the end of storm rider super easy We get the thunder element for Sora and the tornado fusion for goofy everybody else gets health Once again, you have served China well. It would please me to reward you. What is it that you wish? Well... You say a guy in black came to see you. What did he say? That is all you request? Yes. Dragons have crossed our land and left a great web of ants. These dragons wield much power, and they are the source of many gifts to both man and nature. But it would seem someone of evil intent disturbed one of our dragons and transformed it into what you call a heartless. It is my belief that this young man came to warn me of that danger. Then I could alert and prepare my troops. Did you? <laughs> I was about to, 
But he told me this situation had changed. He said three wise guys had arrived, and they would take care of things. <laughs> That's gotta be Riku. But what's he doing hanging out with Organization 13? No idea. But at least I finally know he's okay. That's good enough. Yeah, that's good. Now then, Famula, do you have a request? I'd like Shang... Uh, I mean, well, the captain. Yes, yes, my dear, what is it? Could the captain have a vacation, please? <laughs> I hardly expected such humble requests. In this case, I'm afraid I must refuse. Captain Lee's responsibility is to protect the Emperor. And yet, Mulan... Yes. Would you like to serve alongside him and protect me? Huh? What? Two reeds together are stronger than one. But the choice is yours alone. Thank you, Your Excellency. The Land of Dragons is done. Story-wise. Hey everybody, I'm picking up a strange reading. Are you sure? Let me see. Look, it's all cloudy and kind of fuzzy. Probably just a glitch. I don't know. Huh. So, we're done with Land of Dragons. In the next episode, we're going to a lit- No, we're not. In the next episode, we are actually going to go all the way over here to Port Royal. It's actually important because at this point, we need to get our drive gauges up, which means we need access to Agrabah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Showing up on screen right now is some stuff for y'all to click, including a link to patreon.com slash missiledineonline, where for just a dollar a month, you can get early access to these videos. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to a giant heartless dragon.